Hey guys, so today I thought I would do a little kind of mini vlog just to show you kind of what I get up to like on a regular, regular, regular day. I'm a little bit sick, so it might sound a wee bit funny. And I've been in bed for the past like three days, so this is actually the first time I've washed my hair as well, which is really, really great. So today I'm doing makeup later on, so I need to get ready, I need to pack my makeup kit. I actually need to clean some of my brushes as well. So I'll kind of show you me doing that and then I've actually, if I have time, I need to get my nails done because I've been meaning to get them done the past week because I've been sick, I haven't been able to. Like look at the, look at that. Look how much they've grown out and that one, this one is like broke all together. Not cute. So if I have time, I'm gonna go get my nails done. That's about it. So I thought I would just kind of show you quickly how I clean my brushes. So. Usually if I am really prepared, prefer to use this here. This is the Primark Blend and Cleanse. So I love using that. It is actually a sponge cleaner, but I really like using it for my brushes. That's what it looks like. Obviously I would clean that before I started to clean my brushes again. It's amazing, really, really good for really giving your brushes a nice clean and it brings all of your brushes back to white again. I actually got these in Dublin. If Penny still do this, Please let me know in the comments below because I'm going down to Dublin in November and I will stock up again. But in the meantime, because I wasn't so prepared, I'm actually just going to take this Surgical Spirit. And I just get this from, like, you can get it from um, bigger boot stores, I think. So I just pour a little bit into the cap. So I'll take a wee brush. So this has, like, concealer on it still. So I just dip it in and then I just swirl it in, like, a clean old towel and see see well, it literally lifts it all straight away the only thing is surgical spray i think can like dry your brushes out so it's not good to use it all the time so when you can give it like a proper clean with like a brush so because it's surgical spray there's quite a lot of alcohol in it so it does dry basically straight away i'll probably give that another wee clean there to make sure that it's properly cleaned set my brushes like this to dry, so kind of like hanging over the edge a little bit. Not finished my makeup by the way, just done my face, still need to do my eyes. That is how I am cleaning my brushes right now, so I will continue to do that and then I will show you my brush belt and everything and then I will show you my actual like makeup bag. I went on all my makeup brushes to dry, so I thought I would show you what I pack in my kit. So after I do makeup, obviously I'm like so focused on doing the makeup, whenever I'm repacking the bag, everything just goes back in in no particular order it all just goes back in on top of each other bags still left open and everything just land everywhere so be prepared this is a mess but like my hair it's all gonna be fine i'm gonna be able to sort this out right so i need to sit down for this my room's a mess too so i hope you don't, can't really see anything so this is the bag I am using at the minute. It's from Morphe. It's like the biggest one. I can't remember what it's called, but it is the largest one. It was like 30 something pound, which is really, really, really good for a big bag like this and it fits so much in. But literally look at how messy this all is. Like I can't cope. Oh, so what I do is I just take it all out to begin with. So I kind of like to start with where I do things on the face. So obviously before anything, I prep the skin first of all so this little pocket over here it's where i keep like all my kind of skin stuff before i even apply anything on to the client's face you're gonna have to sanitize your hands so this is a wee hand sanitizer i think i've got this from premark or something yeah premark exclusive so i keep that in there it's the first thing i do before anything else um, and then i like to go in and use the mac Lightful C Marine Bright Formula Softening Lotion. It smells amazing and it makes the client's skin feel so good before putting the makeup on. MAC Strobe Cream. This one is in Peach Light. This is the Neode Photographic Fluid Opacity 12%. This is really, really nice. It's kind of like the Strobe Cream, only like times 50. So that wee bad boy is really good. The Embryolise Lay Creme Concentrate. So this is a really good kind of moisturising base, especially if your clients have dry skin. But you just have to let it kind of sit on the skin for a while because it is a little bit on the thicker side and then i've got my mario badescu this is the facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water i use this you use it before as well before you apply any makeup and it's just going to give your client like a really nice fresh feeling i like to also use it after it takes away any kind of powdery look to the makeup so that's kind of all 
of that. I know the client that I'm going to do today, so that's why I'm packing this kit mainly because I know what her skin's like, what her skin tone's like, what kind of makeup she suits. So if I was, if I had like a number of clients today, I would pack some pore filling primers in here. The Smashbox pore filling primer is really good. Um, Angel Veil by MYX is really good as well. I need to let my cat in, she's being a real melter. Hi, baby. What are you doing? Hi. Hi, girl. Oh, I love you. These are my brow products. I love MYX's brow products. I think they are amazing for the price of them as well. MYX tend to brow mascara in the shade Espresso. Two NYX micro brow pencils in the shade taupe which i'm definitely not going to use today but it's just nice to have in your kit for any light haired people I tend to brow mascara in brunette so just in case it's a little bit lighter than the espresso but i just keep it in there in case micro brow pencil in espresso so this one's really good for kind of dark hair but not like jet black hair eyebrow gel in i think this is brunette because the espresso is like really really dark so i don't really like that um, and I like the brunette one instead these are like the zoeva graphic liner got a nice metallic red a black this is like a nude shade and a brown. I keep them kind of just in this little pocket here along with my pencil sharpener. And then I keep my little palette in here as well. Um, just to mix stuff and for hygiene purposes. These are really good to have. I also keep my mascara in here. I keep a little bag like this for all my liquid liners. A lot of them from MYX. Um, the collection one. That is the Sigma gel liner which is brilliant. The Inglot gel liner is really good as well. I just find that the Sigma one doesn't dry out just quite as fast. All my pigments are in here. So most of them are like peaches and cream. I've got a couple of eyeshadows there from Kiko as well because they're single shadows and I don't really carry single shadows. So they're the only ones I have and I don't want to forget about them. So I keep them in here. Next pigment in there, but they're mostly a Barry M as well. It's really good and really good price. But they're mostly peaches and cream because they're like the best pigments ever. These are all kind of, there's a lot of a mixture. So we've got some Helen E glitters, which are amazing. I've got some Violet Boss, NYX. I've got the NYX Glitter Primer. This is brilliant. Love this. this. is my favourite kind of way to apply glitter. I always put that inside this little bag. I have loads of like wee random palettes. So this is just like a Z palette that I made myself. Um, it's not full, obviously, as you can see. And these are a lot of like my favourite kind of eyeshadows here. These are some ones from Suva Beauty. They're brilliant, really pigmented shimmers. You've got a wee mixture here between like Makeup Geek and MAC. Those are like the MYX ones, which are really good. As you can see, hardly ever use them because they're so bright. Oh, I also forgot to mention, like before I pack my kit, I take a little bit of, this is actually IPA. So to sanitize my makeup, I always just spray some IPA and let it dry before I pack it in the kit. This just sanitizes all the eyeshadows, makes them all clean and good to go for your client. This is the Morphe 35R palette. I'm just doing the same thing with it. This is the NYX Fire palette. This is the Morphe 12S palette. They are so lovely colours. Like look at them bottom three. Oh, love them. I've got the Morphe 35B palette. Look at them colours. They are unbelievable. That one stains the shit out of your eyes. The last palette I've got is the 25 B. These are all just palettes that I know that I will use. Obviously, I use the P. Louise base. Who the hell doesn't these days? So I have three different shades. This is Rumor 02. That's like her original one she came out with. The shades 0.5 and 1. So I bring all three of those. Put them in this little compartment over here where I keep my concealers. That's just like a little corrector from NYX. Like a little yellow corrector if there's any really darkness underneath the eyes. Contour stick. The Clinique Chubby in the Nude Foundation stick in the shade ample amber collection concealers i used to love these but i don't really any anymore like they're okay but i've kind of i've moved on i've found a new love this is the shade two cool medium i've also got this one which is five medium deep just in case my concealer i've got shade two oatmeal which is really really light shade three cookie is so so good um, this is the Barry M All Night Long Full Coverage Concealer. It's amazing. You all need it in your lives. Brilliant. Love it. You all need it. But I just pack these ones. I've probably used these today. They're quite nice. They're not too long. quite like them wee ones. They're quite cheap off. Um, I think I got them on eBay or AliExpress or something. These ones are really nice. These are the Salon Perfect ones. Go Glam Multi Pack. Got these in America. Duraline. It's a wee necessity. I've got Lit Cosmetics. This is like a clearly liquid glitter base. MAC. It's nearly done. This is the Pro Conceal and Correct Palette in Medium. It's good for correcting, obviously. And we mixture. I've got the Maybelline Superstay, which is amazing. I've got some YSL All Hours Foundation. It's really good as well. Inglot HD Foundations. I've got one in shade 76, which is the lighter one. And then 83 is the darker one. They are quite a matte foundation. 
Um, so if somebody's got dry skin, you need a really good moisturising base underneath these. Also gonna bring the Dior Forever Undercover. This is in the shade 31. I also have this little foundation palette actually. It's from RCMA. Really good full coverage, really highly pigmented. Series Favourites palette in Shinto. It's kind of like a medium to tan shade. Right, so as you can see, I've stacked all my eyeshadow palettes up here, put all everything else in. And um, the next thing I'm gonna go on to is this. This is like a wee Inglot Freedom palette. Again, I haven't filled it up yet, but these are really good contour shades. Um, this one, the top is 511, I think, and the one below is 507. 511 is so dark, and both of them, really, to be honest, are really pigmented, so you only need a little bit, which is amazing. It's a highlighter. can't remember what shade. It's okay. I'm not in love with it. This is the MAC Sculpt Powder. It's amazing. Really cool toned. Really great for contouring, kind of on any skin tone. This is like a kind of like a brightening powder really good for setting your makeup kind of underneath the eye that's a little lipstick can't remember love it never ever use it always forget about it so should maybe take it out of there because i always forget the mac kind of highlighting powder and emphasize again it's got a little bit of a shimmer in it but like not too much this is the anastasia beverly hills and nicole guerrero glow kit um, I forgot all about it, but like these are all amazing colours. Like I, I don't know why I ever forgot about it. In here I've got my like bronzing type of thing. So NYX matte bronzer in the shade dark tan. But this is a really nice kind of deep pan bronzy colour. Hula bronzer, MAC, dark deep, mineralized skin finish. My highlighters go in here. So I've got the bronze goddess from Estee Lauder. So nice. A couple of ones from Inglot. These like the sparkling dust powder things. Sparkling dust, yeah. Um, in the shade 07 and 02, I think. 07 is quite pink and the 02 is really yellow. It's beautiful. Soft and Gentle by MAC, of course. And then this is like a little wet and wild one. This is the Precious Petals, which is really, really nice. It's like pinky toned. In this little pocket, I've got my blushers. So I've got this one from number 7. This is in Peach Velvet. It's really nice, kind of pinky peachy toned. Milani. Big blush in Luminoso is not a matte blush though, so if you only like matte blushes, you probably won't like this. It's got a nice sheen to it. MAC blush in Copper Tone. This is gorgeous, love this. I use this all the time actually on myself as well. This big bit right here is actually for tissues, but I ran out of tissues, so I just bought like little packs of them. Also little disposable mascara wands, very, very important for hygiene purposes. You don't want to be using the same mascara wand on anybody. Aquaphor, this is really good if your client has dry lips. Put this on at the very, very beginning. Um, it's a soothing skin balm, but just put it on the lips at the very start and then before you obviously do your lipstick and stuff, make sure you wipe it off because it's very, very, very moisturising. God, I almost forgot. Face powder, what? Oh God, it's going everywhere. This face powder is amazing. Only thing is I hate the packaging, but it's brilliant. It's the RCMA No Colour Powder. Everyone needs this in their kit. It's brilliant. And look how much you get. Like, you get so much product and it is really, really affordable. Only thing is, you can't really set it with a damp beauty sponge, I've noticed. Like, you have to do it with a dry one or else it goes all, like, weird. So, yeah, that's just a wee tip. I have these wee Zoeva um, makeup brush bags that I got on my makeup brush sets. And I keep all of my lip liners in there. I only carry, like, one neutral colour, like, one clear lip gloss in here. Um, oh no, don't. that's a pink one obviously, pink lip gloss. And then all my liquid lipsticks are in here as well. This little bag, I've got all my lipsticks, so keep them in there too. A couple of different lash glues, we've got an Ardell Lash Grip, and then an Eyler, this is the latex free one, just in case anyone's allergic to latex. I just keep them in my makeup brush belt. Scissors. And these are a lifesaver, these are the MAC eyelash applicators. They're amazing, I keep them right there. At all times because they're brilliant i just got this off amazon for like i don't know it's probably like 10 pound but it's so good and um, really really sturdy if i can find the link i will link it down below and obviously i pack my you know my ring light or my soft box makeup chair like a director chair i probably forgot something you know also oh nearly forgot makeup wipes as well necessity need to bring makeup wipes with you duh Obviously I don't have time to get my nails done today, but it's fine. I don't know if I'll have time to go to McDonald's, which I had intended. So there is an apple green on the way, so they have Greg's. Which means I have to, have to leave right, right now, so I better shut up and get going. I'll probably not be vlogging while I'm driving because that's dangerous. And anybody who does is f stupid. Right, so, oh god, hello. Basically I changed my mind and um, the Greg's out the window and Burger King came to rescue me. Just got a wee chicken royale me and I'm going to eat this in like five minutes. Um, you know, there's a guy like, looking at me. Oh, it's okay. Um, I'm going to eat this really fast and then I'm not too far away from where I need to be. So hopefully I'll be there in like ten minutes. So yeah.
so yeah bye back home now I had to stop off and get petrol on the way so uh, while I was in the garage I decided to get myself a tango ice blast and now that I'm home I have nothing else to do there's really nothing else so I'm probably just gonna like start watching Netflix there's a new series of making a murder out um so I'll probably watch that tomorrow's my last day off of my week of holidays before I start back to work on Monday morning so I need to do something tomorrow like I need to do something vlog worthy probably won't though I'm gonna go now watch some Netflix drink my tango ice blast put my pajamas on and call it a day thank you for watching this really really shit video and why I'm sure you're raging because you just wasted your whole time but thanks for your moral support I love you see ya